Hello everyone, my name is Brian Nunez, Junior Product Manager Designer for Horizon Hobby. And what we're going to talk about today is how to have a successful break-in with your Losi XXL2 gasoline. First, we got to talk about tuning the truck and the baseline tune. What you want to imagine with the needles is an hour clock. There's 12 hours inside a clock and that's how we tune our trucks. On your top needle located up here, how to get a base tune for that is turn that needle all the way in and count 17 hours total out. So you go one, two, three, all the way to 17, leave that needle alone. On your bottom needle located down here by your slide carburetor, turn that needle all the way in and count 20 hours out. Same procedure, one, two, three, till you hit 20, and leave that needle alone. Your bottom needle not only controls your bottom and fuel delivery, but also controls your idle. Now that is our base manual setting for your low seat truck. Depending on your altitude, your actual climate that you're running in, those needles might change. So I'm gonna purposely tune this truck a little bit lean, then I'm gonna tune a little bit rich to show you what to hear, what to look out for, how to make sure you have the best tune for your truck. So as you can see, when I rich in the bottom needle, the idle drop. So if you go and start your break-in process and you know that the idle on your truck, it might just be because your climate changes or your elevation. So if you hear it, idle's too high, go ahead and back off on that needle. If you just so happen to turn on your truck and it's having a hard time staying on, go ahead and lean out the needle in order to raise the idle. One of the easy ways to find out whether your idle's set right, pay attention to your tires if the truck's elevated off the ground. If you turn on your truck and your tires are spinning, it's a very easy sign to know that your idle's too high because your clutch is engaging. Back off the needle and you'll see your tires stop. And that's how you know you have a good bottom and set needle. So now that you know how to set your bottom needle, let's go ahead and move on to the top. One of the, main, one of the things that makes this engine very easy to tune is that you set your top needle by checking out your temperature. So I have my temp gun here and I'm gonna show you how to use your temp gun in order to know whether your top needle is adjusted properly. One of the things to note is that on typical nitro engines, we're used to temping the engine at the top of the head. Due to the design and the height of the head, we don't recommend that. We recommend you test your temperature at the engine case, right along the center where the piston and sleeve are. That's going to give you the most accurate reading of what your engine temperature really is. And the way you want to set this is in the manual, we have set specific temperatures that you do not want to go above. So for example, tank one, the maximum temperature is 195 degrees Fahrenheit. If you set your bottom needle properly, just how we showed you, and you're running your truck back and forth to the manual instructions, you temp your truck where you need to, and you're at 200 degrees, you're just a hair too lean on your top end needle, come in and richen that out by turning it out, get that below 195 degrees, and you're set to go. Follows tank one, two, all the way to eight, by the set temperatures that we suggest, and you'll be sure to have a successful break-in on your low seat truck. So as you can see, the reason why it's so easy to tune this engine is because you set your bottom needle by listening to your idle, and you set your top needle by paying attention to your temperature. Your idle screw needle should never be changed. That's there for function only. Now here's a quick tip on things to look out for when you're breaking in your truck. If your tank isn't fully sealed, if your lid isn't fully closed, that will also cause an erratic idle. So make sure that's fully sealed and you should be ready to go. Another good thing to pay attention to is your air filter. Make sure your air filter is clean of any debris, any, any type of interference to make sure you get good constant flow. Also, it's completely normal for you to have plenty of smoke and oil coming out of your exhaust during break-in. The last tip I have for you is pay attention to your battery voltage. If you happen to turn on your truck and the truck just running extremely rich, doesn't seem to want to stay on, check your battery. If your battery is dead, that will cause the CDI to misfire and cause your engine to run poorly. Charge up the battery, should be ready to go. With that being said, thank you so much for watching the video. Good luck on watching your truck and we'll see you out in the field.